Greetings, folks. Well, today is Tuesday, 13th of April, 2020. And today, I am going to hike alongside of Lake Hennessy. It's been several years since I've been here, but I remembered a little pullout. There's only room for three cars and a little trail entrance right here. There are a couple of trails around the lake, and this is one of them. There's no biking. And just so you know, there's no swimming allowed in the lake. It is our Napa County drinking water supply. There's a more popular trail on the other side of Lake Hennessy, and it is quite sunny, I'm sure. <laughs> this side is shadier, which I'll take today because it's supposed to get to about 80 degrees. This trail starts off fairly flat, and it's asphalt. Well, yeah, it's crushed rock. You can start to see the lake through the trees. Definitely don't get as good of a view of the lake on this side, but that's okay. I'll trade that for some of this shade. Okay, here's a better view. And if you're not from around here, you might be wondering, how do you get to Lake Hennessy? Well, to get to these access points, you take Silverado Trail to Howell Mountain Road and then to Con Valley Road. And it will lead you right into these uh, trailheads. So far, a very easy walk. Here's another great view. And it is warm in the sunshine. I'm sure I'll be shedding some layers here in just a minute. Let's see if I can sneak up on this butterfly. So pretty. Ooh, look at the colors. Nice. After a little while, you lose sight of the lake, and there's some neat rocky outcroppings here. But uh, the view of the lake uh, is coming right back up here in just a minute. I noticed this road up a hill off to the right. It's a little too warm to go exploring on that one today. And here we are with the lake back in view. Oh, there's someone out there in a little canoe. And it looks like he has a very small electric motor on it. It's super quiet. Isn't it funny? You can't go swimming, but uh, you can have a little boat. And I'm sure the horsepower is limited. There's a nice view. The hills are still green. We, ha we did have some rain this month, so that really helped out with the green. And of course, this is, what, the fifth week or so of being sheltered in place. Thankfully, our Napa trails and parks remain open for us to use in a responsible manner. And of course that means social distancing and uh, just being mindful of, you know, what you do and what you touch and just basically not getting near other folks. I am very thankful that we can still access our open spaces. The two counties next to us, which are Solano and Sonoma, have uh, had all of their trails and parks and so forth closed down, which is really a shame. 
Okay, I'm down to uh, summertime clothing here. <laughs> Gosh, this might be the warmest day so far around here this spring. It's really nice. I just saw a runner and two people fishing. And those are my trail companions for the moment. By that I mean I've passed them by. <laughs> They're the only other folks I've seen out on this trail so far. There's a neat little spot. I suppose I could run down to there, but not even, I couldn't even put my feet in the water if I wanted to. So I'll keep on hiking. Well, I'll keep on hiking until I reach this gate with a pretty big warning sign up there. Let's go read it. Okay, trespassing and loitering forbidden by law. Violators will be arrested. Hmm. And I think that has something to do with water treatment plant or something like that up here. I do remember going further on this trail in the past. But uh, I'm not out to break the law or anything like that today, so 